Oh, we did the AMD overclocking thing. Should we talk about that? Or yeah. we didn't do, rather? Yeah. On Monday, Chinese Twitter user David Huang <laughs> posted a warning that popped up when he was enabling <laughs> overclocking on his Ryzen 7000 CPU, which stated, Overclocking mode will now be permanently enabled for this processor, effectively voiding warranty as previously stated. Wow. That's pretty brutal. In response to user concern, AMD published a reaffirmation that overclocking does not void a CPU's warranties. Enabling overclocking does, however, blow a hidden fuse to indicate that overclocking has been used at some point in the chip's history, and overclocking damage itself is not covered. However... An overclocked chip is still covered by warranty or repair for other unrelated issues. Okay. Okay, then. So basically, we'll do it, but only if we say that the damage yeah. was not caused by overclocking, which realistically, I can tell you, having seen the kind of equipment that these brands use to determine... Like a, a low level error in these chips, they are not pulling that out for every single stupid RMA. It's a dead chip. That's that 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 that's it. Um, so basically, the only reason for this fuse to exist is an easy flag. Is if they will. It's it's like it's like putting moisture sensors in your phone. Yeah, and then saying. But it's fine if you get liquid in it. We will honor your warranty. Um, I mean, to be clear, I don't think AMD has given us any indication yet that they intend to do anything with this flag, with this fuse that can be blown. But the fact that they have it at all indicates that they felt they needed it. And the fact that they felt they needed it seems to indicate that they might feel they would need to use it at some point. And I just, I have a hard time imagining how they could tell the difference between a clock that, a clock, a chip that failed prematurely because it was overclocked or a chip that failed prematurely because it just failed prematurely. The flag would not change anything about that other than to tell them that you overclocked it, at which point they could say at their discretion, it failed prematurely because you overclocked it. Um... Yeah. It's a little sketch. Definitely a little sketch. El Aroldo says, I think it's fair. It tells them to look for signs of overcurrent or overvoltage damage. And if they find it, they could void your warranty. But again, I got to tell you, they are not doing that level of analysis on your like $400 CPU. To you, that's a lot of money. To a company like AMD, it is not. It, it is actually not worth the time to take a technician and do a, a, a micro level analysis, like nano level analysis on this chip and determine if you overclocked it or not. Because yeah, if, if, if there, there could be some visually very obvious versions of that, but there's also a bunch of not. Yeah. Uh, hi DLL, given some of the messes AMD has managed to make even as the nice guy, of the graphics industry. What would happen mm. if NVIDIA really does leave the graphics and Radeon becomes the big dog in town? <sighs> they would do exactly what they did in CPUs and they would stomp all over you and maximize their profits for their shareholders. I mean, they're a corporation, right? That's what they do. And before you say it, yes, Linus Media Group Incorporated is also a corporation, but there's a very big difference between a company with many, many shareholders and a, and a complex corporate structure and one that has two shareholders who sleep together. Yvonne and I are pretty aligned on things, and if we decide that our corporation can just, you know, make less money because we feel like it's the right thing to do, then we can do that. But that's not something that a company with a fiduciary responsibility to its shareholders can do. So it's not quite the same thing. But also, corporations are not your friends. Any of them. Trust but verify. Is there any other sort of things that we should remind people of? Don't pre-order. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, th I think that one's pretty good. P don't people buy a PlayStation often... Portal if you don't have a f***ing PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's not for you. 
Maybe it is a bad product for you. Maybe it's a, a bad product. I don't even know. Yeah. I, I have no interest in it because I don't have a PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> so why do I care? But my <laughs> job is to put myself in the head of someone who might be interested in that product. Yeah. And people with PlayStations really liked the review. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. I, I was unsure about it uh, because people were mad at you about it. And I was like, does this matter? And I checked in with friends that have PlayStations. And they're like, no, I, I, I got one. Seems pretty all right. Like, <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. 